All right, we're back for round two with Edgar against Keith. Oh yeah, so Keith is on Grixis Death Shadow. Yeah. So, I mean, a pretty popular deck right now. It is indeed. Um, so let's see, it looks like a relatively stock list. He's on the four Mishra's Bobble. I know yep. people have mixed opinions on that. Um, He's got no lootings. I don't know, I, I, I'm not super current with uh, Death Shadow lists, but I remember looting being like a, a two of. Pretty, pretty commonly. Yeah. Two battle rage to be fast. But everything else is pretty stuck. Yeah. Yeah. And we got Edgar. Playing his baby. Yeah. His love child. And, and you lit? lit? <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that sounded way better than I could say. <laughs> we'll pull it off next time. Sorry, Edgar. Oh, I'm sure we'll see him more. Yeah, he's sure. a pretty good player. Yeah, these guys are friends too. Buddies. They go way back. I don't know how far back, but way back. <laughs> uh, I mean, they're Toronto, like, kind of tight. Yeah, local grinders for sure. I love to have Can't see it, but trust me, guys. When you do see it, stuff. <laughs> you'll uh, see it. So, Edgar's list. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I could talk about it more stuff all day. Um, but pretty stock outside of some really interesting um, <clears throat> tech, I should say. The three cricket mages. Yeah. Uh, which gets walking ballista, obviously amulet of vigor, and engineer explosives in the main board. Um, and then actually, and then the two more engineer more explosives, explosives <laughs> in the board. Yeah. Um, I know he's been on the the trinket and mage package for a couple months now. Um, that was a, a more recent innovation. Though. Um, but what we're seeing in this version that's kind of interesting is Kabira Crossroads. Yeah, I had to, you had to Google that we one. We had to Google that yeah. one. Uh, it's basically, I guess, we replaced Radiant. Yeah. Uh, and it's a white land that comes on the straight path and gives you two life when it enters the battlefield. Uh, I mean, and that's there over the Radiant Counter and Explosion. We saw that four path to exile in the sideboard. Four paths in the board, four negates in the board. He's a, he's that's a, heavy. Yeah. So. Really interesting. I mean, I'm never. I would never question Edgar's uh, deck building skills no. when it comes to amulet. This so is true. <laughs> I guess we'll see how it plays out. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, those paths are going to be coming in handy against the Death Shadow player. For sure. For sure. I mean, Death Shadow obviously has a whole lot of tools uh, to interact with amulet. Um, a ton of discard, uh, stubborn denial, and a fast clock. Um, their life total is pretty irrelevant. So yeah. Yeah. For sure. This is going to be an interesting matchup. Hopefully, those uh, paths out of the board for Edgar can uh, can do some damage. Um, I imagine. The, uh, the the choice of path is probably for uh, the uptick of Phoenix and uh, Death Shadow. So let's see if it uh, let's see if it's enough. Uh, so Edgar's on the play here. Twenty one stirring. He's gonna get some cards. Oh, that's the one you want to see. That's an amulet. We've got an explosive there too. They obviously both know what each other is playing. I'm sure of it. Okay, so is he just looking for his land drop there, or do you think yeah. that he has uh, another amulet in hand? It's hard to tell. I mean, usually amulet hands kind of just look like lands, let's be honest. <laughs> this, is, this is true, but I mean, Vesuba doesn't really seem like one that's Yeah, super that's an odd choice. Right? That's an odd choice. So, like, I'm wondering if he's trying to hit land drops, or he just has another amulet in his hand. Yeah. Maybe amulet. I feel like, I don't know, if you have an amulet, don't you take the second because you're going to get hit by discard and you, and you really want one to land? Because you need to... You need to be fast, and like the amulet's gonna be huge there. All right, let's look at his hand. Oh, it is actually just. Oh, hand. he's just trying to blank. The, he's just uh, he's just dodging the discard. He's like, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it easy. That's next let's level. play a That's slow how you game. know he knows which his opponent's on. Yeah, he's like, I'm not gonna take his amulet because then you're just gonna take it. So let's just let's just get another land drop in there. Something interesting, Keith. Um, bobbled Edgar when he had a fetch land. Sometimes you can use that as a pseudo. Yeah, uh, pseudo scry. Yeah. yeah. But maybe he knew he was gonna fetch anyway. Yeah, he was, he was gonna crack for that thought. Didn't, didn't have an option anyway. So um, you want to get and, in and there. And to be honest, if you're thought teasing and you want to know your opponent's next draw, you have full information going into your next turn. Yeah, it's great. Um, there's that colony garden. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's a chump is blocker. Safe. Let's yeah, go. It's kind of like how Scapeshift uses that sacro tribal there. Yeah, kind of buys you a turn, and a lot of times that's all you need, just one more turn. Although it's 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 gonna be interesting with uh, with battle range. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, but, <laughs> that little plant doesn't really stand a chance. But hey, if it can block a, if a it, 10 if it, Honestly, if it fogs 5 damage, 
Yeah. 10 damage is, well, 10 damage ten, is huge. <laughs> I go big, baby. But if it fogs five, that'll be great. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Edgar's hand, really, really slow. Just lands. But I mean, he's going to be able to Karoo that back a bunch of times. Like, yeah. He's in it for the long haul. He doesn't ones. exactly have a super fast hand. So yeah, if he can, if he can get his block on. That'd be pretty sweet. Um, Keith so Keith maybe looking to play Delve Thread here. Somewhat oh, okay, no, shadow. No, just the big boy. Well, he's a small the, boy right the, now. The small boy. Small boy. Big one, heart. One one shadow. All right, looks like he drew a card that he can cast. Woo! Trinket Mage. Let's find. Oh, is he gonna just get explosives here? Oh, I guess you. I don't know if you can. The thing is, like, do you uh, do you wait a turn to try to get an amulet or? I mean, I feel like you your hand is pretty bad. You kind of. You need something to go. He goes for the amulet. That's interesting. I mean, to be fair, your your clock isn't huge right now. Um, but you might be thinking Keith is sitting on discard that he's not casting because he wants maybe a, a turn or two and so maybe he yeah. can grab a primal titan in a couple turns, uh, like a turn before you can play it. Yeah. Uh, but now he's probably would be really happy yeah. to snag that amulet. Yeah, for sure. And I guess pretty much whatever you keep is either going to get stripped with the discard or stubbed if it's a non-creature. That's true. So the trinket mage is just a body at this point. <laughs> Almost, right? I mean, in all fairness, I mean, this is really you still not, have to, not, you not, still not have a to case for amulet, but a lot of times Death Shadow, if they get a little bit too low, you can sneak in there, you know, flash in a snap, bolt, and it's enough to kill yeah. them. But I mean, really, trinket mage he has is a two -two? trinket mage is a 2-2, two -two, yeah. Hey, and you know what? It's going to come out of nowhere. Hey, he's only one power less than Death Shadow, so hey, who's... This is true. Let's go. But, and I mean, it looks like he's going to let him have this amulet. He's not really too worried about it. He has... He just he has, took it. Oh, sorry. Didn't he? Yeah, he, he did. Took it sorry, and then he, and he, and he, it, and he dealt uh, that Vermag, away. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Try Belder. All right, we're going to bounce uh, the... Let's get this colony heart back. Okay. And okay. He's, and he's still sitting on that stub, and now stub's online because of Gurmag, so... Um, doesn't have any red mana yet, but really, you're not really too interested in getting red mana Nobody's early. Red mana yeah. in this matchup, right? Hey, hey I mean, you're just gonna get, have to get through a lot of plants, okay? That battle rage is <laughs> is not looking too bad here. It would be great, actually. Uh, so what's Edgar looking for? He's just looking for a prime time here. He's he's not gonna be able to. Yeah, get he wants he wants to he wants to dump his hand and get a prime time down and in there. All right, so your vision's from Keith. Let's see what he finds. All right, well, he's looking at a land oh, and a battle yeah, rage. There's a battle rage on top. Looks like he keeps that one. So he's probably got a fetch in hand. Oh, he's, no, he's, oh, he's, he's got, got, got a blood, blood crypt. crypt. Okay. All right. Um, so he's looking to close this game out. He knows eventually if Edgar draws a primal titan, that's his way back in the game. Do you double block the shadow? What's it? Do you double block the shadow here? No, you can't. You need that. You need that scout. You need that scout to power a really... A really fast Titan. Well, really fast, but yeah, I mean, medium fast. If he has like a Street Wreath or something, obviously you're you just get wrecked, really, really sad. Yeah, at least not scared um, of uh, like a Battle really, Rage. really buy you an extra turn, right? Taking three isn't that bad versus two jump blockers. I mean... Yeah, I guess there's also like push... It. Oh, there it is. Yeah, push. And Dismember? Oh, Dismember is huge here, yeah. Six. All right, take seven. Well, he didn't have um, Revolt for Push to kill the Trigger Mage, but I guess he could still kill the Sakura. Yeah. Uh, but he's got another plant coming, so that plant is back. But, he's now he's but this is, rage, yeah, this so. is the Battle Rage turn. So. Grow my Death Shadow, come in hot. We have Battle Rage. Jump blocks. Doesn't matter what you block, you're dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it looks like it looks yeah. like Edgar's played this matchup before, and he doesn't particularly like it. <laughs> no. But uh, I mean, they're gonna get to go to sideboard. Um, yeah, those those four paths, they're there for a reason. Let's see if he can draw them and uh, resolve them. Yeah, That's uh, most important. also there's he's got a little silver bullet for these Death Shadow decks, the Oof. Chameleon Colossus. Oof. Uh, so that's pro black. Just pro black. Where you and gets be. huge. Yeah, so, that's a clock. Uh, when you have enough mana, it sort of <laughs> will kill anything. It doubles its power, right? So yeah. if you can pump it twice, no Death Shadow is big enough to handle that boy. No Death Shadow. It's going to be a 16-16. So he's probably bringing in the, the Chameleon Colossus, maybe an Obstinate Bala? Maybe? <sighs> maybe. I mean, like, if he gets to keep hands, like, six lands Obstinate, you get, like, additional That's value out of that. Also, you want things that aren't going to get hit by stub, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, being able to cast things, having a 4-4 to pressure life total with, like, 
um, plants to block. Yeah. You know, it really keep puts the uh, shadow player in an interesting spot. And just maybe doesn't want to play two shadows out because of engineered explosives. Um, and then sometimes five fives just you know you can double block them. Yeah, I was gonna say like uh, so Valok plus another blocker to get on a, a Gurmag or something seems decent. Although you can get blown out, but at least gives you the option of it. And then uh, do you think he brings in the two explosives? Uh, He's I definitely bringing in four paths. Yeah, but I don't know if he it's, needs it's hard to say. I more mean, explosives, cause it's just really because it, and also you have Trinket Mage to get your explosives yeah. if you really need it. So maybe not. Um. Maybe just bring in four paths, Colossus, maybe Do you Valor. care about that Emrakul promise then? Like, can you set up a position where you get to kill him with his own, like his life total so low, and then he's holding a bunch of street race, you cast this, and then on his turn just pay all his life and kill him by using his own cards? Um, you can't pay life you don't have. This is true. This is true. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> How can you but I mean, you, you can... Not have? <laughs> <laughs> but you can definitely set up a, a scenario where you... Uh, where you attack into prime time and then like give the prime time double strike or something, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, really, you also have an Emrakul on the board, so you can attack into the Emrakul. Yeah. But I mean, might... <laughs> still, also, yeah. also bigger, bigger than any Death Shadow, <laughs> yeah, unless um, your life total is a zero, in which case you might be Stephen McMahon with his Phyrex Phyrexian oh. unlife Death Shadow. Uh, <laughs> you can get him bigger than a thirteen thirteen. <laughs> um, is there anything that's that stands out for Keith's list that he might be bringing in? I mean, there might be okay. Like a braid. Yeah, we've got one a braid. We've got uh, two Grim Lava Mancer, a snap, two D strokes, a K command, a lightning bolt, another stub, two surgic sorry three surgicals, uh, a Lily of the Veil, and a Lily Last Hope, and a Collective Brutality. Okay, so what, what do you like, like here? here? Uh, <laughs> wow, twinsies. Uh, other than like the abrade. Uh, yeah, so you definitely want the abrade, right? Probably D-stroke, um, right? Stroke seems good. I mean, uh, I mean, you don't know that Edgar is not playing any copies of Cavern of Souls. Yeah, but who's who's? Uh, right, he's he's, like, pl he's playing at least one, right? But also, I don't know. You oh, all, yeah, they always on, play at least on, one. Yeah, I don't know. Some people are on it on the sideboard, but he is play, he's right. playing two in the main. He's playing two in the main, okay. Um, so you probably bring in the fourth stub. Um, oh, you want that bolt, right? You want cheap ways to, to kill Azusa and the scout? But I guess he's, I mean... I don't know. I don't really know if you... Um, I like... I think I like, I mean, you bolt, like over push, bolt over push, right? Push. Yeah, I was just going to say... That's an easy swap. Do you want anything like... Um, like do, you want, do you want brutality? Um, I guess it depends also if you think your opponent is on uh, four paths, <laughs> right? Because like I think this is just like traditionally like mostly a race and like the battle rages are really great there. Mm -hmm. But if you think your opponent's going to try and grind you out a little bit more and is running four paths in the board, mm -hmm. then maybe you have to pay more attention to that and like then like yeah discard and stubs are more important, right? Yeah, and I mean these these players are well aware of what's going on in each other's decks, the new innovations that are coming out in Modern like every day. So yeah. he might be expecting four paths in the sideboard. He know? might be. Um, like you said, they're, they're buddies, so we'll see. All right, they're opening up, looking at their sevens. Edgar's got an Azusa and a Summoner's Pact, I think I saw, which yeah. is a pretty good start. And most likely the rest are lands. Most yeah, likely. Looks like it. Um, and then Keith, he's got a Thought Seize, he's got a Thought Scour. And Gurmag snap and some A lot lands. of thought went into that hand. Oh, he ships uh, it. Yeah, it's must have. Oh, I mean, must have been. Yeah, maybe a bad they just one. don't play enough Grixis Death Shadow. I think he had two Gurmag anglers. I think um, maybe there was so only one land. Yeah. And it wasn't a blue source. Uh, yeah, I think he did have a Blood Crypt. And I think he, he had, had a crypt. double Gurmag angler. Double Gurmag. So that's never really yeah. good if you can beat it enough. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, really, you do want to be seeing Thoughtsies on turn one. Yep. Uh, which he did have, but yeah, if the hand is just too awkward and he can't apply pressure, then the thoughts he has doesn't even matter, right? And how much does it play into your head knowing that Edgar kept his seven? Like, do you, are you assuming there's going to be a turn one amulet and you're going to have to be able to fight through that? Uh, are, you, are you thinking that he would maul aggressively to a fast hand if he doesn't have the four paths um, to grind? I think... I, I don't know how much that. I think you just. It's you too just, early. You, yeah. Like, when you're at seven, you just sort of look for a playable hand. And yeah. there's the Terminal Amulet. Didn't see that one hiding there. Uh, We're going to see, see a uh, turn two Azusa, which is going to be pretty nasty. All right, let's see what happens here. Yep. If Keith's got some so one man interaction. He's see. got a stub and what else? 
All right. I don't know. Let's bounce that. that. Let's make an Azusa. All right. She's she's on the board. Okay. So let's see if he saves those the Karoos because he's scared of Fatal Push. Yeah. So a lot of you yeah. don't want to give him anything to respond to, um, and there's obviously no triggers there. All right. Well, that was that was that was good ramp. Yeah. Solid. <laughs> yeah, I know. Even, if this, gets, even if this gets pushed, you don't feel too bad. No. Yeah, she did her job, and yeah, you're totally right about the triggers there. Um, definitely be pretty solid to uh, just play out some uh, some lands. So interesting, you find steam Down lands. Okay, so there's that bolt that you that you mentioned. Uh, yeah. It might, it might have been the one in the main board, but so we'll never know. We'll, just we'll never know. We have a big brain for now. Huge brainer. <laughs> Uh, interesting that he didn't get a black land. I guess he's got a ton of blue spells in his hand. Yeah, he's got he's got swamp, uh, blood crypt. So that, that's something interesting that if you're playing against a dead shadow player, watching what they fetch can all, a lot of times give a lot of information. Yeah. If they're not fetching red mana, then it's unlikely they have it. Uh, Battle rage. If they fetch steam vents, it's really unusual for their first fetch. I think. Yeah. Um, we're usually looking for a water grave. So in this yeah, case, he has black swamp huge. blood crypt. So he yeah. obviously needs the blue, and he needed the red for the lightning bolt. So. Yep. Yep, well, here comes a prime time. quick summoner's back. So here he goes. He's done Throwing this, he's done this a million times. I'm going to cast <laughs> yeah. this thing. How's the trigger, Edgar asks. How's the trigger? Yeah. Trigger's great. Should have should have multiple discard, bud. <laughs> Next time thought sees me before my turn three, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let me have the play. <laughs> Your All first right. mistake was letting me have that uh, turn one end. Yeah. Uh, did Keith have a uh, Colgan's Command in the sideboard? Uh, he had one in the board, I think. So, I mean, that's a pretty good tool to pick off those yeah. early creatures none, and kill an amulet. Yeah, none main, one in the board. That's interesting. But, I mean, I guess that's kind of where they've uh, they've uh, gone, right? That being said, he's only on his turn two, so he wouldn't really have yeah. been able to cast it in time anyway, so that's something else to consider, right? Like, what can you really do? Yeah, the play is going to be very important in this matchup with discard and amulet being the two like most important one mana spells in the, either player's deck, right? Mm -hmm. It's just nuts. You think like what bad amount like this this deck obviously Amulet has been putting up results as yeah. of late and you, you sort of think like what beats this deck if not Grixis <laughs> Death Shadow? And it looks like he's obviously game one was rough, but when he's on the play, this looks like he's putting on a clinic here. Like it's, yeah. it looks looks pretty good. It looks unbeatable, but <laughs> This looks like he might like, be uh, he might be smashing. Yeah, like Keith is sitting on a stub, which is not really doing much. No. Doesn't look like he has any clock in his hand. Yeah. So that's another thing. This is, it's, 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 it's a slow hand from Keith for sure, and that's really not going to do it here when Edgar's giving his Titan haste, right? He's yeah. coming into the red zone. It's going to hit you for a lot. Oh, yeah. Sure, your death shadow's huge. Edgar doesn't care. No. <laughs> no. And my boy's going to be trampling soon. <laughs> Oh, okay, so... You gotta call me? Yeah, you gotta call me. Okay. Um, That's and, it, and it is, is that a Teleria West? I think it is. Okay. Um, so I guess he's, he's gonna be looking, obviously, to bounce that back to his hand. Oh, okay. Keith just nah. concedes. Yeah, he's like, yeah, he's you're like, right. You've it done the over. thing. Yeah, I know how this works. <laughs> you hit me for eight. You can hit me for more next turn. All right, we're done here. And yeah, yeah he doesn't even have the blocker to put up, so... Oh, there's that K command we're looking at. Is he flicking it, wondering if it should stay in or not, come in or not? I feel like it has to stay in. Uh, da, 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 da. What's he making? He's, snap? Is, he, is he bringing a snap back in? Looks and he's like cutting it. a stub oh. on the play? That's interesting. He's not too happy about the bolt. I mean... Sending the bolt that back. Kind of oh, I guess because you have turn one discard. Yeah. So you can just... You can just take whatever their most problematic like source of acceleration is. Yeah. Do you think Edgar is cutting tribe scouts at all? Like, what is he cutting for his I have no idea how that deck operates. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I don't, it's just lands and then things that care about lands. Feels like everything is pretty important to keep in. Uh, maybe he just takes out the trinket mage package. D you're cutting pack, right? Pack and negation? Let's see, Keith doesn't really have anything. It's really only going to be on like a huge turn. Yeah. And there's not really anything that blows you out once you get your Primeval Titan on. Like, he doesn't yeah. have any counter spells outside. Only just have D Stroke. Yeah. It's going to be like. So. I don't know. I don't like the pack, though. Yeah. I mean, if you're looking to trim cards for more interaction, then obviously 
you don't want things like pack negation, especially you don't want pack negation to sit in your hand if your hand gets mauled by discard, right? Yeah. You want to have something to do all the time. You, you keep Ballista in just because, like, you could just randomly, like, shoot them for, like, four or five, right? Yeah. And they can't really they can't really interact with the, the Ballista. Yeah, it's nice, like, if you get to resolve a uh, Primal Titan that will maybe die, and then you can bounce a uh, Tolaria West, and then you can, or you've got your lands, and then you can go find a Walking Ballista. Yep. That being said, like, Keith would have to have nothing on board, you know? It's really slow play to go find a Ballista, play it. Uh, and then have like exactly enough to shoot you, and he'd sort of a telegraphed play, um, and then Keith would also have to not kill him that turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's kind of a tall order. Uh, so honestly, I, d I don't mind if that one bites the dust. Yeah, I do like the Hornet Queen though. Yeah, it's kind of sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Keith's keeping in his battle rages, I'm assuming. So, I mean, Hornet Queen might not be the best card. Yeah. But hey, if he doesn't have the battle rage, what does he do? Just Sort of, sort of stares at you, right? Yeah. So maybe he is uh, cutting the scouts. Maybe, he, maybe he keeps them on the play. No, I don't know, because Keith's gonna be keeping an interaction to kill those or take them. But at least Azusa lets you play your land drops after she resolves, right? Whereas the scout is just, it's just a rinky dink until the next turn. You heard it here first, folks. Just a rinky dink. <laughs> Worse than an Elvish Mystic, let's be honest. Oh yeah, and we saw how bad Elvish Mystic was last round. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see. Keith, okay, he's got he's got ways to lower his life total, and he's got a Death Shadow, and I think he's also got a stub. So yeah. well, let's just let's just keep digging. Yeah, let's see if we can find that turn one card. Just, okay, so he, so he found land and then snap. Oh, there's the thought Oh, we did have a thought season. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Oh, this well, looks really, really solid for uh, me. So now. Keith's taking eight damage, which is, which is exactly what he wants. <laughs> yeah. So that's a turn two death shadow. Um, we're seeing uh, a handful of lands, <gasps> plus a, a green pack no, no, and an ancient no, spirit. And there's that <laughs> chameleon colossus, right? Oh, that's what that end? is. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So yeah, I think just... I saw. I think I saw Keith sort of point to that and give He's a little like, oh, smirk. That like, card oh, is gas. You knew I was coming today. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know I regged for this event? Yeah. <laughs> and in Keith's hand, what do we have there? We have Stub, Death Shadow, Snap, and another land. That hand is, that hand is pretty good. We're gonna get to play the, the Death Shadow out next turn. Hold up. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. <laughs> I was trying to think of, like, is there a way that he takes Ancient Stirrings and tries to set up like a snap um, thought seize? But it, I, I think if Edgar finds a like a, a piece of ramp or something and yeah. he gets that Clemulian Colossus up, that's just such a huge hurdle. Oh, and then you can just play two Death Shadows. Wow, he he doesn't two, even want to he doesn't even want to try and stub, and I really like that because um, if you hold up one blue, then Edgar might not do this exact play, right? Yeah. Oh, there's a. Amulet. Wow. That's, okay. So it uh, that's gonna might resolve. have might have ended up being relevant. Um, that being said, I think you yeah, just want to pull out the two death shadows. I really like that from Keith. Just yeah. put you, the pressure on. Yeah. You know his hand is not super exciting. Um, yeah. But I mean, you have to be aware of Oof. stirrings into yeah into amulet, the amulet. Which but is why I was thinking maybe there's an argument for taking the uh, stirrings over the chameleon colossus. But then you really need to hit your third land drop to snap. Um, yeah. Thoughtsies. Right now, he doesn't have a whole lot to do, and he can... Oh, the, the problem is he can't actually stub the pact right now, because they're only 3-3s. Three he, I think he just drew a fetch, though. Oh, no. Which is going to be Oh, I just made it disgusting. easy. It would have been really exciting to see if he couldn't. Is um, that what he has in hand? Yeah, I think it's a, a scalding it's a turn. turn. yeah. Um, so now he's just thinking about, do I leave up the stub, or am I going to uh, snap I, I feel like he just snapped Thoughtsies. Then, you, then that's like, like so, low, and then so much damage. I don't think there's any way for Edgar to win the game. Yeah, exactly. Edgar's not going to untap and win. Yeah, I mean, he, he can untap and go EE, blow it up. Yeah. Uh, but I still think the snap will almost get there. Uh, there, there is, there is a plant, though. And you're so losing the, your, the your amulet if you do that, right? This is true. So it's still a two for two. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, the little plant that could. It's a blocker for days, Oh, man. yeah. Well, maybe only one day, but it's around for a lot of them. <laughs> but I mean, like, it gets bounced, comes back, like... Yeah. Plants absorb a lot of damage, man. It's going to be huge here. Just think about global warming. These plants are absorbing a lot of damage. Thank you, plants. Uh, Thank you so much. Yeah. That was a, a moment of silence for trees all around the world. And we're back. What a great <laughs> moment. All right, keep coming Sometimes in. Sometimes you need filler. With that scalding turn, cracking it for the blood crypt. Uh, I think we're going to see the snap thought seize. I think it's an aggressive 
push for damage, and, uh, you know, Thoughtseize is powerful. And uh, let's look at Edgar's hand. Let's take out anything let's that's see. relevant. <laughs> yeah. Just and he already knows, like, a bunch of cards are dead. Yeah. Uh, and you got to think about... Oh, my God. Oh, don't hint, take... Hint, <laughs> Don't take Obstinate Valor. But, I mean, Obstinate, obstinate Boy's coming out next turn, and he's at five life. I'm so sure. we're, we're in this situation where we're like, hey, should we bring Obstinate Boy out? And yeah, sure, why not? Sometimes it might kill our opponent. I think it's going to be great here. The Valoth boy. Yeah, okay, so we see that plant by the dust. So he's going to be able to play, assuming he doesn't draw anything else relevant, a Obstinate Bailoth, and then bounce that Colony Heart. Unless you want to go for some interesting, like, uh, pack for Azusa, and then play the Bailoth. That's interesting. Um, but does he have enough... That yeah, works. Yeah, he has enough lands to do all that. And then you get to play your Call Me again in that same turn. I think that's maybe what he's going to go for. And then yeah. again, I'm not the wizard You're the that one Edgar with, is. I know, but you do have the big brainer. <laughs> uh, I didn't see that. This deck is not, this is not an easy deck to play. This is not an easy uh, deck to play. Folks. This deck is very awesome. I mean, if, if you're willing to put in the time and effort, then you will get paid, though. And Edgar does. Oh, oh yeah. So he didn't bounce the call on me? Question mark? He didn't. Uh, I wonder... I think he bounced the Vizuva, which I guess is a call me if he needs it to be, but also that's interesting. But, I mean, you just get a free plan, right? If you do it the other way? I think he could have. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Anyway, in any case, like we're in a really interesting spot right now because, I mean, Keith can't really go all out here. Because right? he is. There is uh, lethal on the crack. Yeah. Which is interesting. <laughs> which, uh, Azusa I did not... does have one power. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget. She's not just a pretty face. <laughs> not as pretty as that plant. Mm. Thank you, plants. Yeah, Thank you for saving us. I love oxygen. So Keith uh, thought scouring here. I mean, he I has, don't know what he found. Though. I mean, he can leave the snappy boy back to block the Bailoth. But like, are you worried that like he draws a path and you just die? No, I mean, he's got he's got the stub, right? No, he's gonna draw an explosive. And just explosives on two and then just crush you. <laughs> explosives on two with two dash idols. Please, please, I I gotta watch this. Uh, what did he draw for the turn? Is that a... I don't know. Oh. So deep in conversation. Okay. Chump, chump. So he chumps with the, with the Bailoth. Oh, my God. So he's not... Oh, that was a draw. So he's not interested in trying to win this game with an obstinate Bailoth <laughs> attacking. Which I think it's... Oh, oh there's the... Was that, oh, was that an explosive? That was explosives, but, I mean, I mean Keith playing, has the stub, he's right? He's pretty quick here. I think he's excited, but he realized Keith has one card in hand. But I mean, you don't have an option. Yeah, so. you have. To, you're going for it, and uh, you're going for it. Okay. I mean, at least you got a chump blocker. Uh, yeah, he's the just stub. like I can't right. get lucky ever. Um, so would this have changed anything if you had an extra plant? I mean, I guess you'd have another opportunity to draw another ye if he was lucky enough. Let's say the plant is eight life. <laughs> okay, that's a good way to look at it. Those are big boys. Oops. Yeah. So he's going and to one? Is that what this is? I mean, you can't lose your Azusa. I feel like that's just too, too much of a key component here. What is he looking for? Explosive? No, nah, explosive. Did he, did he pay for his pack? <laughs> he did, yeah. She shows him oh, the prime time. No. Shows him the summer's pack. Two cards. Holy shit. That sucks. So that's. Oh, he has no more lands, though, right? So though, that's not actually a kill if he had. He had to rip the prime he, time. He had to rip the prime time, but even then, how much mana did he I have? Don't think he had enough mana. I think he had five. Yeah. So what do you look at rip there? The chameleon class is already gone. Not that that doesn't. Really Explosive just doesn't do it. Because he's at one. So at one. And little snappy boy kills you. Yeah. Oh, well, we can sort of see how they're sideboarding. Um, 
Yeah, it looks like he brought in at least one EE. No, he brought in both EEs? Yeah, he brought in both EEs, the Chameleon Colossus. Um, and it looks like... The All four the paths. paths. Yeah, All right, sense. so we got that one pretty dead on, I think. Are we, uh, so are we Amulet? Uh, oh, okay, and Keith brought in the, the two strokes. strokes. Um, and the fourth snap. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I mean, those are those are a rough matchup for Edgar. Yeah, kind of got run over there. But it was actually pretty close. It was honest. really interesting. Yeah, that game two was uh, really fast out of Edgar. Yeah. All right, let's go to round three.